This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the final press conference uh, for the big show Saturday night, Copper Box, joined by Jason Quigley. First fight in the UK. How does that feel, Jason? Yeah, it's exciting for me. You know, it's. Uh, I think it's great for my fans. They don't have to travel halfway across the world to watch me fight now. They can just pop over here to London to watch me fight. So it's. Uh, I'm excited about it. As this is earlier in the press conference, you know, I've had. 15 fights now as a pro and they've all been in America, they've all been away from home. So uh, this is exciting for me now, this is uh, a bit closer to home and uh, really looking forward to it. Must be a big change from uh, California to Sheffield. Yeah, the weather's a little different I suppose. <laughs> That's uh, It's a massive change, do you know what I mean? But it's a change, I suppose, it's not home for me Sheffield, but it's more home as in the terms of the culture and the time difference and the weather, everything like that. It's, it's more recognisable for me and uh, I, f I feel a lot more at home in Sheffield than I did in uh, California. Of course, you're with Golden Boy. Eddie mentioned um, Matram and Golden Boy are working very closely. DAZN have got all the best middleweights in the world. Andrade, Golovkin, Canelo, Danny Jacobs. Um, I'm surprised actually Eddie actually mention your names and mention their names um, but you seem like end of this year next year that you want these sort of fights yeah without a doubt you know I'm 15 and 0 right now looking to go 16 and 0 on Saturday I'm ranked number 5 in the world with the WBC I'm just right on the cusp of these lads and uh, just because I'm not maybe the silver champion or ranked number 1 in the world yet that people aren't really looking at me as a title challenger to these lads, but that's exactly where I'm looking to get to, and that's exactly where I'm going to get to, because this is what I'm in the sport to do. I'm in here to be a world champion, and what better group of people to be around than the likes of, obviously, my promotional team, Golden Boy, on a card here now with uh, Eddie Hearn's matchroom and his own. It's, uh, I'm in the right mix-up and it's just all down to me and my team now to, to stay focused, stay in our lane, keep winning and uh, get those big fights. Out of that middle mate, uh, middleweight mix, who do you see as the number one in terms of your Canelo, your Golovkins, your Danny Jacobs? It has to be Canelo, doesn't it? You know, like he's probably the most active fighter, probably fought the best fighters out there. I um, mean, the biggest draw. Canelo, I think, is the biggest and the best middleweight in the world right now in every department. And uh, if I want to be the, be, be the best, you have to beat the best. And I think that's beating Canelo. Now, I know you've been sparring uh, Anthony Fowler and, of course, Liam Williams, who's at the Ingle Gym. How's that been? Yeah, sparring's been going great. Um, been feeling good in sparring working with uh, top quality class fighters and uh, you know pushing each other on in every spar and it's only making us all of us better and uh, that's going to show on fight night for me and for the other lads. How do you see Fowler getting on with Fitzgerald next Saturday? Yeah look uh, people seen that I've sparred Scott Fitzgerald, people seen that I've sparred Anthony Fowler and I'm not going to go around telling any stories or anything like that there. That's what I wanted. But there is no stories I aspired to both of them, had good spars with both fighters. I think both fighters are great fighters and uh, I think it's a, it's a great fight for the, the public, especially the, the banter I think that they have going on on social media as well. I think it's great, it's building the fight massively and uh, it's going to be a very interesting fight and one that I'm looking forward to myself. How's everything going uh, under Dominic Gingle at the Ingle Gym? I know Amir Khan's down there as well, isn't he? Not the boxer Amir Khan, yeah. but... People will know who I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, camp's going great down with uh, Dom. You know, uh, uh, fitted right into the Ingle gym. Feel great, me and Dom have a great relationship. Me and all other fighters in the gym have a great relationship. And uh, that's what it's all about. Success breeds success. And, uh, you know, we've got Kid Galahad now that's just massive fight with uh, Josh Warrington. So th the gym is buzzing and uh, everything's going great in there. And as he says, Amir's in there too, doing the pads every now and then and taking in his personality into the gym. It's great, you know, so it's, uh, as I says, look, everything's going great and uh, I'm excited now for Saturday night. Where do you see your future line in terms of the country you'll be fighting in, mostly in the States, or do you want to be having more fights in the UK, Jason? Of course, I would love more fights here in the UK. It's, it's closer to home. I'm based in the UK. I'm based in Sheffield. I would love to keep fighting more regularly here on the, this side of the water and then potentially a massive fight in Ireland at some stage. 
how massive would it be to bring a uh, golden boy, the zone and everything to Ireland? That'd be unbelievable, and that's definitely something that that I'd be looking forward to and, and trying to put into place, you know. But uh, right now, I'm concentrating on Saturday night and uh, let everything else fall into place. All right, Jason, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Everyone, tune in and watch him uh, live on Sky Sports in this country or zone in America. Anything you'd like to add? Pleasure to be here in uh, the UK, fighting in my UK debut, and uh, thanks for all the uh, support and fans following me. It's a little bit easier for them to get over from Ireland, England, so uh, looking forward to Saturday night. See you all there. Nice one, Jason. Thank you.